Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Russia episode. Oh, what's this you ask? Oh, it's just my uh, Geography Now gym sack. You can use it to uh, carry stuff in, like, uh, you know, Geography Now mugs, both of which are available at geographynow.com. It's not selling out if it's my brand. As you know, this is the part where we talk about the small mistakes we made in the video, or the things that didn't quite make it into the video. Weird thing happened immediately after I uploaded the Russia episode. Russia's government resigned. Kind of confusing because it has to do with the terms for the presidency. I, it's but yeah, I was like, did I just break Russia? For one, yes, I am fully aware that the map overlay of Russia over the globe does not exactly match where it should be. It's really hard to show the entire country of Russia on a globe. Because I mean, it straddles like 11 time zones. And also when I explained that in the video, I used this globe and it looks like Belarus was annexed by Russia. In the video, I accidentally said North Ossetia instead of South Ossetia. I accidentally wrote 2004 instead of 1994 in the Olympics part. And in the demographics section, the caption accidentally said ninth largest in Europe. I meant to say ninth largest in the world. Some things I didn't really quite talk about that I really wanted to. The Kaliningrad Oblast. Why is it a detached exclave? Basically, this place used to be called Konigsberg, and it was received by Russia after World War II, and it's basically used as a navy shipping port because the ports of St. Petersburg kind of freeze over during the winter time. There are so many composers that we didn't get to talk about. My favorite one being Rachmaninov. There are so many cool places we didn't get to talk about. They have the deepest hole in the world. They have the five tallest buildings in Europe. They also have the world's most polluted lake. I forgot to mention at one point for like one month, Russian Cossacks actually kind of colonized a little bit of Africa. This little place called Sagalo was actually a short-lived Russian colony in Djibouti. Uh, what else we got? This lady, Mrs. Vasilyev, is the woman that has had the most kids on earth at 69. 16 pairs of twins, seven sets of triplets, four sets of quadruplets. My goodness, what a uterus. Dash cams are very common in Russia to avoid insurance scams. Paganism shamanism and tengrism are still practiced in some communities but at one point during imperial and soviet years state atheism was actually enforced constitutionally and pretty much all religion was banned and persecuted and finally the calling code for russia is 007 all right that's just about it let's move on so without further ado you <laughs> Uh, it was so fun filming the Russia episode. My buddy Mike, the co-host of the show, I went to high school with him and he was kind of like eh, my rival friend. He even once stole a girl that I wanted to date. Damn. Nah, we're cool though. Anyway, we gotta talk about the flag. So, the flag of Russia is a tricolor with three bands of white, blue, and red at the bottom. Some dispute the origin of the flag. Some say it was from Peter the Great after he hired a Dutch company to build him a ship. After it arrived with the Dutch flag, they say he was inspired to use the same colors but in a different sequence. There are many interpretations as to what the colors of the Russian flag mean. There is no official statement from the government. However, it is regarded by popular definition that the white color symbolizes nobility and frankness, the blue for faithfulness, honesty, impeccability, and chastity, and red for courage, generosity, and love. Now keep in mind prior to this, Russia had a bunch of eras and governmental shifts. The House of Romanov flag is similar to the flag of Scotland, and the former empire flag had black, white, and yellow. After the October Revolution, Lenin and the Bolsheviks came in, they created the whole new communist era, and that's where you get all the Soviet flags and imagery, you know, with the hammer and sickle. Even further than that though, Russia actually also has like regional and district and city flags, and some of them get really weird. Snezhnogorsk town with its cute seal popping out of the ice. Horoshevo Nevniki region with its weird beaver thing. Taldom has a bird with a shoe. Kazan and Tartarstan has a dragon chicken thing. And of course, who could forget Zheleznogorsk with its atom splitting bear. Oh, Russia, you so quirky. Anywho, now time to move on to the coat of arms. The coat of arms is a red shield with a double-headed golden eagle and a smaller shield in the middle of the eagle with a figure of a mounted knight slaying a serpent or dragon. The eagle is roughly based off of Byzantine imagery, which played a huge historical role in what would shape all of Eastern Europe for the following centuries. The crown represents the unity and sovereignty of Russia, and the imperial orb and scepter in the eagle's claws represent power and authority. As for the rider, there is no official government statement clarifying who exactly the mounted knight is, but most people speculate that it must be St. George because it totally follows the story and is used in so many other regional flags and coat of arms and even on the country of Malta. 
Peralta. Throughout the years, the coat of arms has been altered and changed so many times, especially with all those like excessively elaborate imperial trimmings. During Soviet times, everything changed. And that's when you get the ubiquitous hammer and sickle image. It changed slightly over the years, but overall it kept up with the same format. Rye wheat sheaves on the side wrapped in ribbons that contained the languages of all the republics in the Union, saying proletarians of the world unite. Behind the hammer and sickle was a globe and red star on top to signify the unity under communism. So yeah, you get a lot of things from the imperial years, the Soviet years, and the modern years. All right, so that's just about it. So that means you know what time it is. It's time for Geography Fan Mail Time. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Fan Friday. As you know, we always got to have some guest stars. So come on in. Today is going to be Mr. Art and, of course, our Russian correspondent, Mike. How you What's doing? What's up, guys? How you doing? <gasps> Someone bought a t-shirt! Guys, buy your t-shirts! Buy your Geography Now t-shirts at geographynow.com Be like us! As you know, we always start off with Postcards. Paul and Ayana, they visited the Dutch Caribbean, Bonaire, the island of Bonaire. It's from Steven. Somehow I got the ginger. That looks like me if I was a leprechaun, so. So this is from Vano. The card is from Iceland, but they are Armenians and they actually, they're your neighbors. They live right here. Oh, you guys are LA Armenians. Are LA Armenians. We got this cool card from Steven who visited San Marino, that small little country in, surrounded by Italy. We got one from Finland here. This is from Daniel. And Daniel says, hey Paul, I've been a fan for a long time and I love your channel. Thank you. <laughs> this one is uh, from Sam, who has been a fan of yours since Italy. Part is actually from Japan. He is currently in Hiroshima. Da, da Chiao? Da Chiao, a Romanian in Scotland. Roslyn Chapel. What? Roslyn Chapel. I've like had way too many espressos, man. Yeah, me too. I'm like about to puke. My stomach is just destroyed. And I'm still drinking. Why? Actually, I have another espresso right here. All right, so we got one from Brazil. This is from Daniel. This postcard is just to put my hometown on display. They kept the huge public telephone monument thing. We acknowledge you. Brazil. Brazil. We hope you win your soccer <laughs> tournaments. Uh, next up, we have Michael from Austria, but by way of Toronto. He is currently studying geography, of all things, at oh. York University as part of an exchange. You can show your face a little more, man. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> they don't need to see that. Well, this card, uh, Hannah and Ian would probably like this because it's from Bamberg. A high geography now, specifically Hannah Bamberg. Okay, yeah. Anyway, uh, this card is from Natalie. Clip We're not going to trash it, okay? We're going to get it to um, Hannah. Believable. It's going to get to Hannah. Where's the garbage can? No, just kidding. It will get trashed. We've got Katrin from North Wales. Uh, wants to let you all know how much she loves geography now and uh, specifically she's waiting on her Keith t-shirt, so hurry up with that. Uh, all the shirts from geographynow.com are made by Printful. They're in charge of all the shipping, not Listen, me. Listen, man, just get Catherine her shirt. That's These up sound Printful. like excuses, and quite yeah. literally, it seems like I'm the only one at this table fighting for you. Speaking of... Bad. Nothing related to that. We got Chuck, who visited Berlin. He's a student from Cleveland. Did you get to see Keith? He visited Germany recently. Hope you got to see Keith. Indonesia. Dia. 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 And he goes into, let's see, he says, I always been a geography lover even since I was in kindergarten. Dia. Thank you, Dia. Hope you're having a bon dia. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something from New Zealand here. This is from Andrew. Like yeah, this water. card is from Aitutaki. Mm. Warm, beautiful island, paradise like no other. Yeah, an island that must have fallen from heaven. You, or um, wait, you want me to go yeah, next? Yeah, you go next, and, you um, and then I'll go after you. Vienna, which is in Austria. <laughs> Whatever stamp they put on here totally blocked out the name. I hate it when they do that. Best wishes, and the name is covered by a sticker. My girlfriend and I are huge fans of the show. She is from Spain, and I'm from Bulgaria. And um, we got this last one from Chicago. Wh Chicago, hey. where we went to high school. From Elias, and uh, he says, keep up the excellent work. He's been a long time fan. Your videos are shared with many friends and family. Does LA have Chicago style deep dish? We really do not, and I have not found any actually. And then he decides to mention that Giordano's is the best. Listen, man, you're entitled to your opinion. Giordano's! And all. Listen, dude, Pequod's run circles all over it. Uh, Giordano's, that's like a place where you go after you graduate from high school. Deep dishes for tourists and special occasions. But I like it. I love it. Oh, it's it. good. It's I love delicious. Deep dish. It's fantastic. Oh, man. Stuff. Just the more pizza, the better, and deep dish is deep, and it's, it's pizza. It's like two slices man. and you're done. This you're is good. getting so serious. <laughs> no, we take, yo, Pequod's, though, for real. What do you got in Washington? Pequod's? Pequod's. Pequod's. You know what that reminds me of? Reminds me of Napoleon Dynamite, Dequan's dance moves. <laughs> Remember from 
Napoleon Dynamite. No, okay. No. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried oh. so hard. It's true though. You're a, you're just worthless. So now that's all the letters. Let's uh, open up some packages. What Grab anything coffee else. Coffee cups. We have too many drinks. It's. Is there anything in there? Actually, there is. Oh god. Uh, uh. Oh. All right, so this one starts off with like a little cryptograph. Dear Paul, it was really great to see my letter read out loud in the Qatar Flag Friday episode. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, he's yeah. sending you Hungarian candy and... Uh, What's his name? Esten? Esther? What? Art loves uh, black licorice. I so. do. Uh, and uh, we've got a calendar from Budapest. I've been to Budapest. So have I. Gorgeous city. It Love is. it. Um, uh, so this is uh, this chocolate. We got some chocolate here. Whoa, looking at the ingredients this is very unhealthy. Arjun. Arjun. Yeah. We sent you piece by chocolate made by Syrian refugees who came to Canada and brought their way of making chocolate with them. Interesting. Hmm. Um, all right, well, I'll go next. This is from Harry. He's from Tampa, Florida. He won his school's geography um, thanks to watching Geography Now. That's really cool. Whoa. Um, and this is a photocopy of his first place ribbon that he won. Okay. Hey, this is from Birmingham in the UK, not Alabama. What? For Paul and friends, my name is Cassandra. Yo, is that Marmite? Peanut butter Marmite. Peanut butter? <laughs> Yo. What? Get that away from Cassandra. me. Cassandra. Peanut butter Marmite? Hey, yo, crack that open, man. The let's let's go for it. Oh my let's God. do this. So you like Marmite? I love, I love it. I love on Marmite. toast. Yeah, right, well, let's, let's just all finger it together. We're all let's gonna live uh, a little bit. Cassandra. It. Three, two, one. Dink. Touch it. Dink. Touch. Okay. All right. That was really weird. It just Yo. tastes like peanut butter, but saltier. Like peanut butter. Yo. That, that is a savory peanut butter. That's the only mm. Marmite that I would eat. Check that this was out. Horrible. A tin of shortbread, which we could have used with the Marmite. Oh, so, shoot. Uh, okay. I, we, there's no letter. Oh, it's from uh, Albin from Sweden. All right, so we have some high quality uh, plastic here from uh, Sweden. Oh no, there's something inside. Oh, I'm one. Just Santa Claus. These these are like a Christmas candy. Okay, sure. It's like a gummy candy. Well, and they, they sent some uh, rocks. Oh, these are marshmallows. Come on. It's a gummy. It's a marshmallow. It's Look a gummy. Some rocks. Hey, Eating. Just okay, Caleb. I thought you only like pizza. I, I got one. this uh, from. My name is Ben, and I'm a huge fan of Geography Now. I live in Gurney, Illinois. My favorite episode was the Monaco one. Some Godiva chocolate. These uh, coffee. What do you call these canisters? I can't. I can't drink this. I don't have a Keurig thing. What are the odds that you open up that K cup and eat the? Uh, Oh, I have to eat them? What are the chances of one out opening? of seventeen? One, two, three, opening this. Four. <laughs> Wait, is this a, is this a challenge? It's a challenge game. So basically, you have to give a range of numbers based off of how likely it is for you to do the dare. If we do say the same number, I do it. If we don't say the right same number, then I don't have to do the dare. Still don't get it. This is from Rory. I believe he's here from Modesto. Rory was also kind enough to include a shirt. And uh, let me just go ahead and he's free the ah. Oh! Da -na -na -na. Cause he's from Modesto, where da -na -na -na. George Lucas is from. George Lucas is from Modesto. Uh, we got a big package from Priscilla. She actually sent a big box filled with other stuff. Uh, one of them was an advent calendar filled with candies and chocolates. I actually gave it to the post office workers. She also sent uh, these cool calendars. Um, and one of them is for Caleb and Jillian. Uh, oh! So there was an episode where my wife was also on it, Jillian. And she, I don't remember why she <laughs> said it, but she said that she really liked golden retrievers. That's and awesome. then there's a, she drew a picture of Jillian and I as golden retrievers. <laughs> <laughs> my tagline is, I like Sprite. Oh she my gave God. me a Sprite. And then Jillian likes ribs. There's <laughs> a, a plate. <laughs> A plate of ribs. <laughs> Jillian really loved it too, so thank well, you so much. That was really cool. I'm finally getting the respect that I deserve. We got Christmas cards. Caleb, you got one. Hey, respect! Whoa. Oh, what does this say? Oh! My first fan mail. Priscilla, yeah. you're amazing. Green's my favorite color. Art, you're new, but you seem like a cool person. <laughs> thank you. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Priscilla. There any like cash or a check in there or anything? <laughs> yeah. So. Next time, send money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take the uh, last package, man. Yo! Oh! Awesome oh! socks. Reindeer socks. What? Hot dog. Reindeer socks. Hot dog socks. Yo, hamburger socks. They smell a little nice. funky. They didn't put any letter. Seriously? There's no letter. These are potatoes. 
No, they're marzipan. I love. Oh, marzipan. those are the good ones too. Yes. Those are little balls. Those wow, they, these are these are You're like topical for this episode and everything. Look at this. <laughs> Trust. Oh my gosh. I'm a Russian spy. Look, we didn't even mention this in the food part, but keep calm and kushi pilmeni. Was that like uh, the pilmeni are like uh, boiled dumplings? Oh, Wait, oh. is this um? Are you the people that always send us stuff, Alexi? You guys, the Russian people that live in Belgium. This is you guys, Alexi and Alessandra. Thank you. I know who you guys are. This is amazing. Thank Thank you so much. Seriously, ребят, спасибо. Okay. Anyway, guys, so we're switching things up. Instead of doing return address contest, now we are doing the geography do name pending challenge. Do something good for your community or making the world a better place in some way, shape, or form. Send in a photo or video of what it is and explain what it is and who you are, and the winner will get a free Geography Now T-shirt. I will send it to you. After much deliberation, I've talked amongst people mm -hmm. and I've listened to some of the comments you guys wrote on social media. It seems to me like a lot of people want I'll dare to win the first geography do contest thank you for not only recycling and cleaning up beaches but also teaching courses to children in Panama on how to help clean up and make the world a better place so I'll dare you're the first winner let's so do, yes let's do an all dare thing all all dare! Dare! thank you guys uh, for supporting the channel anything you want to say to your Russian viewers no <laughs> I want those french fry socks though